Let's go out to Charleston, South Carolina, and talk to Isaac. Yo, yo. What's up, Isaac? Hey, man. I'm as excited as opening day of deer season. I get to talk to the Dr. John Deloney. <laughs> I, on opening day of deer season, I don't talk to anybody. Just the woods. <laughs> That's why What's I said up, man? How are you? As opening. <laughs> Hey man, I'm doing good. I appreciate you taking taking the time to talk with me and everything that y'all do up there at Ramsey Solutions. Uh, y'all y'all really do help people with hope and change lives. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really grateful. And I'm a big fan. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, thank you. What's up? Well, uh, my question was about resentment. Um, you know, uh, you know, once once you're there, uh, can you come back? Um, and if so, how? Um, I know the should I come back is up to me, but, you know, coming back from it and maybe how so. So I can certainly provide a little more context. Yeah, I, I, I think coming out of the gate, knowing I'm always going to answer that question, yes. And whew, it's hard. Right. If you are in disgust and contempt and resentment, I mean, you're talking a control alt delete on just about everything um, to come back together. Is it possible? Hundred percent, absolutely. So, tell me what happened. How did we get here? All right. Well, um, been married to my wife. Uh, this is going on seven years. Um, we've been separated since March, early March. Um, but uh, you know, circling back to that, we got we got three kids under five. Um, so you know, we our marriage has been raising kids for the most part um short timeline we had a big job change and a move back in july um come august took a trip home and had a little uh there's a falling out with my parents and i didn't quite stand up for her maybe as best as i could have but um you know things started kind of getting a little stressful from there um and then come october uh, she came to me saying she wanted uh basically to start separation process and things came came clean about some infidelity from years back um, that I didn't know about, um, including with one of my really close friends and groomsmen. Um, so that was that was a big shock, and um, I was willing, you know, I wanted to work with, with her from there, forgiveness, all that. You know, I was good there and wanted to do everything I could to keep what we had together. Um, and then... You know, it was kind of going through that back and forth process, feeling like I was trying everything I could. Then come January, I uh, found out she was actually currently uh, being unfaithful with one of my very close friends and coworkers. Um, So, yeah, that that was just another another dagger in the back that um, you know got twisted basically. But so so from that point, you know, felt like felt like I had a direction I was going. Um, You know, like I said, parted ways and. March, living elsewhere, or, you know, a few miles down the road, you know, we still have a close relationship, obviously, with our three kids and everything. Um, but uh, just a few weeks ago, she comes back and uh, is ready to ready to realize she did wrong and wants to fix things. And um, honestly, this is this is only one of the few times in my life where I uh, I really just don't know what to do. I'm really, just at a loss. Um, as far as how I feel and what to feel. So if you and I were sitting out um, on opening day in the woods and there were sitting in a two-person tree stand, which means we are about two inches from each other, and it was quiet, and I looked over at you and said, what are you going to do? Without trying to filter it, without trying to think through, yeah, but the, what would you say? Um... You know, what would you say? Go with your gut. I, I, Just say it. Like I want to. Um, you know, I, uh, we say we it. Have say a gr- it. Or, I want to. Um, that's you know, that's what I want to work towards. But I just, I just don't know how. Um, I want to try you know, something like said, on, and you, and you, you reject it wholeheartedly if I'm wrong. Okay. All right. I think you are done, and I think you want to want to because you think that's the right thing. And you have a picture in your head about people who quote unquote quit. And when she circled back for a third time after destroying your life, destroying the life of her kids and destroying um, your friendships, that little voice that said, well, now that she wants to be back in, if you walk away, you're the quitter. And I think something in your spirit says, I'm done. 
and you don't know what to do next because this is a scary, terrifying proposition because this is somebody you built a life with, you created a family with, and you don't have a plan B. And yet, here we are. Tell me if I'm wrong. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say completely wrong. Um, it's yeah, like I don't want to be done, but it it just it just seems impossible to not be done almost. Um, <laughs> you, you, have you listened to this show before? Yeah, yes, I have. So you many, know, many I'm, I'm always telling people to. <laughs> to find a path back together. And this one just for whatever reason, man, maybe it's because I normally shoot shows in the morning and this is the afternoon, but there is something in my spirit that just is, is grossed out by this whole thing. All right. Um, I usually, um, I, I usually believe there are two sides to every one of these stories. Am I wrong here? This one feels very, very one-sided. Uh, as, as far as the actions that were done, it was pretty one-sided. I mean, you know, obviously nobody's a perfect husband and things like that. I um, disagree. I'm incredible. I'm just kidding. Of course, <laughs> of course, of course, nobody's perfect. <laughs> but, but I mean, but um, let, let's be honest. In your whole life, you've never been married and a parent of a kid. You were ne- have never been married and the parent of two kids, never been married and the parent of three kids. So y'all were constantly having to rebuild and rebuild and rebuild. And so nobody does that, right? Of course, you make design decisions right. that are goofy and you put the, you know, you put a foundation footer in the wrong place. That's just part of being married and figuring things out together. That's not a reason to go hook up with somebody's best friend and then lie about it and make you right. feel crazy. That's not, that's not liberty to do it again. And it's funny, when you were telling me that, my first thought was, ooh, she's practicing on him. She's practicing telling an old story to see if it's okay to tell what's really going on right now. Right. And lo and behold. So here's what I'm going to tell you. If you want to stay married to her, you can stay married to her. This isn't resentment, I don't think. I don't think you're there yet. This is active pain. Resentment is when the smoke is cleared and you realize, oh, we're not even in the same house anymore. Psychologically, emotionally, spiritually, we are two diff- we have two different lives. You're not there yet, man. You're still bleeding. Right. She destroyed your family, and I'm sorry. Appreciate you. Appreciate you saying that. And you know it's yeah, I mean it's tough. Um, it really is. And, um, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a wildlife biologist. Okay. All right. Very cool. (laughs) Um, I'll say this as delicately as I can. You can't fix this. Right. This is, and I can't, I can't fix her. And I know that like that, but your marriage can't be quote unquote fixed. It will have to be rebuilt from the floor up. Yes. And you, for the first time, and you haven't done this in 10 years, you're going to have to be very clear about what I need. And, and she's going to have to be very empathetic towards those needs and be so focused with like a laser beam on empathy with you. I don't think she's got it in her. Unless she has just seen the light. Right. And rightly or wrong, I, I you know, I'm I might I might be out to lunch with this, but for whatever reason, I grade these kind of things on a on a scale. And what I mean by that is somebody sits down and says, Hey dude, I was on a business trip. We were all at a dinner and there was a couple of salesmen, a couple I don't know what happened, but I hooked up with somebody. Um, that's stupid and it's painful and it's hurtful. That's not hooking up with my husband's best friend. No, and this was once once found out it was continued on and kind of right. And then and then and then again. That's almost pathological. It's disgusting. And so when I'm thinking through like, man, you bring forgiveness back. I don't know what happened. I screwed up. I got 
I, there was a month when I was just head over heels with somebody at work. and what, Those things happen. That's life. This is, di- this is something different. And so I want you to hear me say you aren't crazy. And you're not over feeling this thing. And you're not a bad guy for thinking, for starting to make plans of what comes next in the world that you are now cast into by yourself. You're not crazy. You're not a bad guy. Okay? Right. You're a guy that was legitimately done wrong. And I think the question is, what does co-parenting look like? What does friends look like? Um, Can I ask you a real uh, sensitive question? Absolutely. When's the last time y'all were together intimately? When's the last time y'all slept together? Uh, Probably either back September. Um, Yeah, before I knew about the first stuff. So, because we were, you know, kind of separate rooms type stuff. Like I said, from kind of September into August. But y'all haven't had like a hookup one night or a, hey, I miss you kind of thing, dropping the kids off or something? No. (laughs) Yeah, man, I'm sorry. When you, if, if you decide I'm out, I'm done. My kids deserve better. I deserve better. She's got a lot of healing to do, and I, I'm not the person that I can't can't drag her through it. It's going to hit you like a tsunami. The pain, the reality of all of this, and I don't want you to run from that. Okay. All right. You're gonna have to get a couple of guys in your life. You're not gonna have to head into the storm. You can't run from this one, man. This just sucks. Yeah, I am. I am blessed in my life. You know, I've got. I mean, that's, considering everything that's happened, I've, I feel like I'm in a good place. I've got good people around me. Um, you know, being in the new place, still working on working on new people around here. But I've I've got good people in my life, and that good. Um, <laughs> that, that, they haven't stuck the dagger in my back yet. <laughs> hey, the first Actually, one. The buddy, first one you I guys... told him. I said, "Hey, man." You know, pressure's on you now, you know. <laughs> <Just joking. laughs> he said, man, I, ain't gonna, I don't even know if I can call you on the phone no more. <laughs> hey, that's that's actually, <laughs> I can imagine how awkward you could make a, like, hanging out with a couple of new guys and y'all get to be good friends and be like, all right, listen, if any one of you guys sleeps with my wife, I'm going to kill you, right? <laughs> I, can, I can imagine dinner getting kind of strange. Um <sighs> Here, here's here's the deal. I want you to hang on the line. I'm going to send you a copy of Own Your Past, Change Your Future. Um, just something for you to read through. And it's a, it's just the path out, man, of sitting in this grief. And what do I do? And where do I head? Um, where do I go now? I'm not going to hate you. I'm not going to roll my eyes at you. I'm going to hug you if you say, nope, I, we talked. We had an honest come to Isaac conversation. We're going to stay together. Great. And if you want to do that, both of you call me back. I'll walk you through the path back that y'all can start. Um, If you decide, man, this thing's been done since September. Um, It's been on life support, but it's been gone since September. I'm done. The spark is gone. This guy's just gone. Fire's out. And um, if you want to do that, call me back, man, and we can figure out where to go from there. I want you to never feel like you don't have anybody to call or a place to go um, or a place to turn. I'm I'm just heartbroken for you, man. I'm sorry that your wife did this to you. That she blew everything up. Take care of take care of Isaac and take care of those little ones. 